Hello everyone, this is Pastor Miguel from the Children's Bethlehem Ministry Church. Today I want to talk to you about Matthew 13, chapter 13. It's called the Parable of the Sower. Um, and it verse 1 through 9. Um, I'm going to talk about that. It's the Parable of the Sower. And why am I talking to you about this today? Uh, I think it's important for people to understand uh, the significance of sowing. Um, especially into our mind. Because when we're born, initially, we have a very fertile soil. And this is the reason why people believe, you know, say or believe, you know, that a child is able to absorb all these things quickly and they're able to learn languages quickly. And it's because their mind uh, is, is fertile. So their mind is, um, you know, ready to receive knowledge, right, wisdom. And so it matters what we place in our child's mind and in terms of, you know, how we talk to them, what we teach them, their environment. And why is that important? Well, here in Matthew 13, verse 1 through 9, Jesus talks about sowing, sowing, right, in a field. And remember, a field is... Um, in this case, a field is a place where you plant seeds and some, you know, you can plant seeds or you could uh, plant weeds, okay, or tares. So it depends on what you plant in that, um, in that field, what actually is produced. So for example, I'm just gonna give you an example. If you grow up in a bad environment as a child, the fruit that's going to be produced because it's been planted, those negative thoughts, the abuse, and everything else involved with that, it's going to produce negative things in your life that are going to torment you for the rest of your life. But I, I'm going to give you some good news, okay, at the end of this. But if you grow up in a in a in a in a home that's loving, that's caring, that loves the Lord, right, and these are the things that are planted into you, your life is going to be much better. So it is important that if you have children that you consider this in your mind. This also goes for people that, you know, you, you have family members that are very tough to get along with. Those family members, you have to realize, if you understand this concept of, of sowing, you understand that they're a product of the things of their past. So the seeds that have been planted in them is the result of the person that you're seeing now. So, and so are you. So I want to talk to you about this Matthew 13 um, scripture. And Jesus says, he says, Consider the sower who went out to sow. As he sowed some seeds, fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured it. So the birds are basically evil, evil spirits, he describes this later on. Uh, other seeds fell on the rocky ground where it didn't have much soil, and it grew up quickly since the soil wasn't deep. But then when, when the sun came up, it was scorched, and say, since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell upon, among the thorns, and the thorns came up and choked it. Still, other seed fell on good ground and produced fruit, some a hundred, some sixty, and some thirty times what was sown. Let anyone who has ears listen. So this is what Jesus is saying. When you preach the gospel, some people are going to receive it. So where are they going to receive it at? They're going to receive it in their mind. And if they have good, good fruit, if they have a good soil, they're going to receive it. But if their soil is bad, if their mind's bad, they're not going to understand the gospel. Okay? So he goes on and explains to, uh, in uh, Matthew 13, 18 to, uh, I believe, is 23. He gives an explanation. And then, this is kind of interesting. He talks about uh, verse 24. He talks a parable of the wheat and the weeds. And he says, He presented them another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. Okay, his field. But while people were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and left. So the enemy placed... Um, evil thoughts into your mind right and eventually what could happen is those thoughts could change the way you see things and so you go from being positive to being negative why because you open yourself to these negative things around you so it, it you know this is why in philippians we read you know we read in philippians how god tells us how we have to paul tells us 
And obviously God, because it's the word of God, you know, tells us to keep our mind on good things, okay? And um, uh, let's see here if I can find it. Mm. Okay, so Paul tells us, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there be if there is any moral excellence and if there is anything praiseworthy dwell on these things why because you're planting these things into your head you think negative things you're going to produce negative fruit you think positive things you're going to produce good things for your life okay so the whole concept is whatever you place in your mind is what you're going to reap in the future okay so anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you understand this concept because it's life changing. If you understand that whatever you place in your mind, right? If you place the word of God, if you read, if you pray, uh, if you, if you think of positive things and concentrate, you know, when people do bad things to you, you realize that it's because the devil has come and planted evil things in their minds. And the reason why they're reacting like that is because it's because they, you know, they grew up in, in, a, in a negative household. Everybody starts from zero. Everybody starts from zero. And whatever the parents planted in, whatever the neighbors planted in, whatever evil happened to that person is the, it, what, you know, the, what they're reaping now is what happened to them uh, earlier in their life. So please consider that, you know, when people act a certain way towards you, you don't know what their problems are. You don't know what's going on with them. So, um, thank you so much for watching this video. Please share this video. I think it's very important. Yeah, I'm in my car right now. And I felt it was important enough to stop and to talk to you guys about this. Um, because it, I think it's life-changing. Thank you so much for watching this. God bless you. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.